Hi everybody, it is July 12, 2019. This is an update on now Tropical Storm Barry, which they are saying may develop into a hurricane later on tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to be going through some information. They are literally uh, rewriting the rules of the game here, the game of life. And I will show you how they are rewriting these rules. But I first want to say, in truth by grace, left me a comment under my last video saying they have taken buoy data down. It's offline. Now, anyone who knows in truth by grace, her work has been incredible in terms of uh, the recent hurricanes. She has gone to sites. She has checked out the wind speed, getting the uh, wind speed from the buoys, and that the buoys now, she can't access that information that she has always accessed. I have to wonder if they took it off the line because they know In Truth by Grace's work. I don't know anybody else who was looking into the wind speeds you know, collecting that data from the buoys. So, uh, interesting that she couldn't access what she has always been able to access. And I also want to say that I got a comment from a subscriber who lives in the area of New Orleans. And he said that people were complaining about the streets flooding and then very soon after, the streets started draining. I absolutely, you know, nothing but hard evidence will convince me that not just in New Orleans, but all over our country now, where we see these flash flooding, oh my God, people you know, wading through water that's two, three, four feet high, they are closing the drains. And I hope to post a video on the thunderstorm that we had last night, which was very odd. Um, but it's raining now. <clears throat> it just started raining now. The sky looks very weird. But every single time it rains, you go outside and the air smells dirty. It smells dirty. So whatever, uh, I don't think it's, you know, that they are, I think that's just our atmosphere now, and rain is bringing down all of the aerosols, all of the fungi, um, and it, it just, the smell of it is horrendous. So Trump has declared a state of emergency due to Barry. Oh, really? Okay. That was before Barry became a tropical storm. Wow. Okay. Well, all government officials and agencies are on it. They're on it. We have never seen our country, our government officials, behaving the way they are behaving now, uh, just in the recent years. Um declaring emergencies before a storm actually develops into a tropical storm. All right. Apparently, people are evacuating, mandatory evacuations, for about five parishes. This is Michael Schneider's article. Up to 25 inches of rain, New Orleans is about to be absolutely devastated by a storm of biblical proportions. Michael Schneider, I really like him when he is writing about the economy, but I really get upset when he writes about the weather and he never talks about weather modification and geoengineering and how man is controlling our weather. Okay, well, what has he said here? Um, an extreme rainfall event. 
All right. Wind speed has always been how we classify hurricanes. Well, that's a game changer today, which we'll get into. But weather expert Eric Holtis, I don't know him, but warned that while the impending disaster would be an entirely different type of flooding than Katrina, it could be just as harmful and might even change the course of American history. I went through the entire article and there's no explanation of how this is going to change the course of American history. All right, well, I guess you have to dig into Eric, um, but I'm not because, look, I, I really have a hard time digging into lies and because they, they just, you know, create for you a Kafkaesque head spinning, you know, let's twirl around somebody else's, you know, design of reality. And I can't stand it. Noah is now projecting that some portions of southern Louisiana could get up to 25 inches of rain from this storm, calling for a pocket of 20 to 25 inches near Barry's track between Thursday and Sunday evening. Well, did you get any rain on Thursday? Because I was looking at the radar and I saw nothing. Let me show you what's happening here. You got the extremely low frequencies blasting away. They usually blast away late at night, but they're blasting away Southern California um, pretty early. And uh, they turned them off, but I captured what was happening in Indiana, uh, which I'll show you in another video. But uh, this is Tropical Storm Barry. This is, this is it. Okay. Um, they're now connecting storms that are not connected. And I'll get into that in a second because, oh, well, Colorado's moisture is contributing to tropical storm, Barry in the Gulf. Oh, all right. Well, this is uh, here, the National High Resolution Reflectivity Composite Loop. All right. Well, we have seen on land what now I guess they could call tropical storms on land, like up north. This uh, twirling pattern that you're beginning to see a little bit of. All right, that's taking place pretty much, you know, it's a frequent occurrence now. So we've got now tropical storms on land, up north. This is College of DuPage. Here is satellite. This is the cloud. Now it's manufactured. And there are two manufacturings of cloud in this storm. Let's zoom in. And this up top, north of that uh, thick cloud mass right here in the, the bottom half, as you can see, the very defined features that come about in this cloud, okay, well, that is a signature of the frequencies that men are using to manufacture this storm. And you can see the right angled features. That's not how Mother Nature works, okay? So you can also see that they are building up cloud within this man-made construction. Right over here, you see the huge holes that suddenly appear. Those are, well, think of them as frequency hits. But you can see that they are building this cloud up. And if you look closely, you can see, I'll link below, you can come over here, you can check it out yourself, uh, the very defined features, very defined lines within this. But I am telling you that this creation up top 
was created after they got this cloud mass created down here. And <clears throat> let's look at long wave and you will see all of the superheating that has taken place. And yes, they can. Look at this right angle right here. This is not Mother Nature, how many times I have said that throughout the years. So, you know, this is so superheated. And I cannot remember what this meteorologist called all this black crap that it wasn't in this storm, but another storm. This was like months ago. I, I wish I had saved it. Uh, I cannot remember what he said, but they are massively using high frequencies to heat this storm up. Now, just because I am saying that this is manufactured and mainstream media is calling it a tropical storm, a hurricane that may develop, what we are seeing based on Army Corps of Engineers, NOAA, mainstream media, Trump declaring an emergency, Mayor Cantrell of uh, the mayor of New Orleans, the declaration of the emergency de declaration that she put out, the mandatory evacuation of five, five parishes, uh, and the confluence of the Mississippi River being so high, they claiming that you'll definitely get the storm surges on the Gulf, which is the easiest thing for them to create. Think about frequencies, electromagnetic frequencies. Think about what frequencies can do. They can push. Okay? You, you, you hit something with a frequency and, well, it has a push effect. They can push water right on up and call it a storm surge of a tropical storm that they have created. Uh, let's look at College of DuPage radar and okay. Don't see much happening here. Well, I don't know. Is it a clear day in Louisiana? Look, I need people in the area to tell us what is going on because nothing, nothing do I believe of what I am reading unless I can see video, particularly the video just posted by ordinary people, but I need to hear from you guys. Now I do have a lot of subscribers in this area and you guys have to check back. You've got to leave comments. You know, will Baton Rouge flood out again? Look, this is this is what we are living, and it's so well. It's kind of hard to take um, when you know when when you know what's going on, and then you have to listen to lie after lie after lie. So, the evacuations um, are. Where did I hear? These are the counties, Jefferson, St. Bernard, um, Plaquemines, I don't know what that is, and sorry I can't pronounce it, and St. Charles Parishes, Jefferson Parish, and the other parish have instituted mandatory evacuations. So, you know, it may not, it's not, it's not coming from anything natural. It's not coming from a tropical storm or a hurricane, but they can bring on massive flooding to you guys and I'm scared that that is what they have in mind so it's an unprecedented problem that New Orleans is facing the Mississippi River which is usually six to eight feet at this time is 16 feet 
Uh, and yes, the substantial storm surge. And normally that wouldn't be too much of a problem, but in this case it could push the water level in the Mississippi River above the levee system that protects New Orleans. The center, uh, I don't know, National Hurricane Center, NOAA, NOAA, uh, warned New Orleans residents that if the storm becomes a hurricane, it could potentially bring a coastal storm surge into the mouth of the Mississippi River capable of raising the river's height to 20 feet above sea level, the highest crest of more than 90 years and high enough to overflow some sections of the levee system protecting the city. We are being told that authorities have great confidence in the levee system. That is the Army Corps of Engineers. The Army Corps of Engineers has been wrong so many times that and have, well, I have bookmarked the Army Corps of Engineers corruption as well as their implementing Agenda 2030. Uh, so, yeah, you cannot listen to the Army Corps of Engineers. So, New Orleans is facing a perfect recipe for flooding and nobody is quite sure what is going to happen next. Already a state of emergency has been declared. Five parishes Look, there are three ways that Louisiana floods, storm surge, high rivers, rain, that's your governor. Uh, we're going to have all three. We don't have to wonder if there will be catastrophic flooding in New Orleans because some parts of the city are already under three to four feet of water thanks to all the rain. Um, that was Wednesday's onslaught. Uh, we've got widespread, widespread crop failures, 12 months ending in June were the wettest 12 months in all of U.S. history. Now here we've got this monstrous storm. This is Michael Schneider speaking. Uh, scenarios that I have been warning about are starting to develop right in front of our eyes. It seems like every week we are talking about another unprecedented disaster. America is being hammered over and over again and this latest blow to New Orleans looks like it could be extremely severe. Let's hope the storm does not turn out to be what they claim it to be because it appears that many Americans are about to have their lives completely turned upside down as Americans are having their lives turned upside down every friggin day and they it's been ongoing for months every day ongoing for months and if that doesn't beg questions in Americans' minds, then it doesn't matter. But, you know, game over. But Michael Schneider, Michael Schneider, I understand you are a Christian. And yes, I have read articles. And he talks about that this is all prophesized, and I'm tired of it. Look into weather modification geoengineering, Michael Schneider. But it's interesting, Army Corps of Engineers came out about two days ago and said the levees will not overtop, great confidence, and this article, April 11, 2019, after a $14 billion upgrade, New Orleans levees are sinking, sea level rise, ground substance, substance blah, 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 will render the flood barriers inadequate in just four years. Well. I hope they're adequate now. You can read this article. But they talk about the vulnerability, they talk about the levees, they talk about it sinking. They, you know, So how can you have great confidence in levees that are sinking when NOAA is calling for 25 inches which will overtop the levees? Okay. Uh, never before seen problem and that's the Mississippi River being so high tropical storm Barry underscores a big problem with hurricane categories what time magazine tropical storm Barry gathers strength on its way to a violent clash with the Louisiana coast officials are rightly evacuating some residents while advising others to shelter in place and have emergency plans in case the worst should happen. Okay, uh, 
Didn't they tell you guys in Houston to shelter in place for Harvey? Yeah. All right, so the way we measure hurricanes may not be adequate. Driving home this storm's danger. Okay, have you not seen that life itself, everything is being redefined by authority, by the authority figures. Authorities are redefining life. Don't we get a say? You know? Biology, sex. Now, hey, you can be anything you want to be. Uh, and in your mind, you can be. But it is a fact. There are two sexes, male, female. So, they're rewriting that. They're rewriting how we are um, schooling our children. They're rewriting everything. So now they're rewriting hurricanes. Classic way to measure a hurricane strength is wind. It's wind. That's why, in truth by grace, went to the buoys to find out the wind speeds. Now she can't. Okay, well, and look, I, I thoroughly trusted In Truth by Grace's um, research. I don't trust Ventusky, is it windy.com? Um, I, look, you know, I go there and I have a lot of questions, so. All right, so a category one hurricane has sustained winds of 74 miles per hour. Category 5, 157 miles or faster. Wind speed itself is not the only threat, a hurricane. Who cares? This is how a hurricane has always been determined. The wind speed. Now, they're going to be determining it by flooding. Rain because they're not hurricanes. Because they're not hurricanes. What man is creating, it's manufactured. Wind speed isn't the only threat a hurricane or other tropical storms can bring. And sometimes it's not even the primary danger. Storm surge, flooding, and other hazards can be just as dangerous as high winds, if not, if not more so. There's no reason to redefine or classify, or have a, a, a reclassification of hurricanes. The only reason is because man is manufacturing these hurricanes, and there's a lot of people asking questions because they know what a hurricane looks like, and it ain't there. It just ain't there. So... What do we have here? NASA finds an asymmetric tropical storm Barry. Wow! It's an asymmetric infrared imagery from NASA's Aqua satellite shows that tropical storm Barry doesn't look like a typical strong tropical cyclone. Imagery revealed that Barry is elongated and the strongest storms were south of its stretched out center of circulation. It's not a tropical storm. So we've got a whole flooding of lies coming out. Oh, time, get on it. Get on it, time. It's not just wind and it doesn't even have to look like a tropical storm or a hurricane. It, it just if it's producing that much rain, it's we'll just call it a tropical storm or a hurricane. And people are not able to see through this bullshit. NASA's Aqua satellite used infrared light to analyze the strength of storms and found the bulk of them in the southern quadrant. Infrared data provides temperature information and the strongest thunderstorms that reach high into the atmosphere have the coldest cloud top temperatures. They write this thing in the, in the hopes that people just don't understand it, but uh, well, this is, this is NASA. We have to believe NASA, right? Barry does not have the typical presentation of a tropical cyclone. And that's all you need to read.
Barry is an asymmetric storm, with most of the tropical storm force winds occurring in the eastern semicircle. It, my God, here, Colorado's moisture is contributing to tropical storm Barry. Wow. And then you listen to this. Are these human beings, are they? Or are we watching, uh, I don't know, um, these AI robots? I don't know. I honestly don't. Denver storms contribute to Tropical Storm Barry. All you have to do is trace the moisture back to Colorado. But wait a second. We were told it was Georgia. Oh, wait. We were told it was Missouri. Now it's Colorado. What the fuck? I can't. Don't worry. I suspends immigration enforcement in New Orleans ahead of Barry. Now, I've received comments from Christians who were very happy about Houston getting flooded. They were Texans. This woman was a Texan. She didn't live in Houston. And she believed that it was a man's job to protect the family and to prepare for any kind of disaster. And if man, if the husband, if the father didn't protect, then too bad for them. But she was happy about the flooding in Houston because Houston has so many illegal immigrants. She was happy. Are you kidding me? All right. So I just included this because ICE is not enforcing immigration law. So <laughs> you're suspending what? Uh, are you kidding? You're not suspending anything. You're just doing what you've always done, not enforcing immigration law. So what was it? South Texas residents report houses shaking, uh, hearing explosions. Homes or businesses began to shake after hearing a loud thunder from Beeville to San Antonio. Really? Okay. I received this from my subscriber, whom I'd like to thank. I also, at, at just within the same hour, got an email from a San Antonio subscriber who said she has had headaches for three days and couldn't get rid of them. I just want to show you what was happening. This was now, this was the 10th, Wednesday, and apparently this came in at around 1, 8, 1 p.m. Uh, here in Carnes County, a loud noise was made and the ground shook. Any word on what it was felt and heard in Pawnee to Runge and south of Kennedy up to Lavernia area, 3.21 p.m., 2.04 p.m. Am I the only one who heard that huge explosion in, I guess that's uh, Carnes County. Loud noise, ground shook. So this was <clears throat> on the 10th, excuse me, and this was what was happening on the 10th in Texas. Come on. You had a massive explosion of um, artificial artificially induced frequencies. Now, San Antonio is, I don't know, somewhere around here, isn't it? But it doesn't matter. Um, you have this kind of frequency taking place. It can affect, <coughs> excuse me, nearby areas as well. And yes, frequencies can cause loud loud booms they can cause thunder 
And last night, here in South Carolina, Anderson, we had a man-made storm. The thunder, the first crack, scared the crap out of me. Uh, the lightning, I'm going to post a video on it. The lightning wasn't, it wasn't lightning, but um, it was <laughs> the electrical charges in man-made cloud. <clears throat> those mount monstrous clouds. But at one point, the thunder shook my apartment. So we've got a lot of uh, dangerous people setting off a lot of dangerous, unconventional weapons. They are creating weather. They are creating uh, the loosening of infrastructure that is causing an awful lot of damage. So just um, here, storm flood parts of Smithfield. What? North Carolina. This is South Vermont Street, Lena. You can see all of this water gushing out into this stream here, but this is what is really impressive on South Vermont. It is this road that has partially collapsed here. You can actually see up the road that there is uh, some cones up. Traffic is not getting uh, by here right now due to the structural integrity of this roadway. South Vermont Street right here at West Parker Street. You can see uh, this road, don't want to get too close to it, but has just caved uh, right into that stream where that water, you can see this massive pipe that is exposed here and the grass here. So, Okay, so that's another road collapsing. Roads are collapsing all over, all over. And unless you really dig into even just the local, the local papers actually are more um, posting on what's happening in, in specific communities around the country. Our mainstream media is really just picking and choosing the road collapse in particular has been enormous. It's enormous in so many states. So this was North Carolina. Uh, just, I think, yesterday this occurred. And many roads closed, flooding here. Kentucky. Kentucky. R trees down, power outages Click on the link if you want to see the damage. Huntsville, Alabama, storms leave structural damage down tree limbs. Thursday afternoon storms left damage around Huntsville. And trees falling onto cars, trees falling onto homes. Storms rip across New Jersey amid a tornado warning. Yes, now tornadoes are just a commonplace weather event for New England, up north, in the northeast. People need to start questioning what is taking place. And the suddenness of storms. I'm seeing more and more. We didn't have a warning. It just happened. We had a sunny day. Boom. Okay. Maryland weather. Trapped vehicles down power lines reported after storms moved through Baltimore region again. Again. So, what can I say about our our Americans? I take offense to lying, to, to being lied to. I take offense to the rewriting of life by people who, well, we don't get a say. They are determining life for all of us. Okay. That's why it's really important to get yourself out of the matrix. These people, government officials, uh, 
presidents, all Supreme Court justices, they get to determine our life, how we live it, how we perceive it? No. No. And if you're still stuck in the matrix, then you're still going along with all of this crap. I can't stand it. I can't stand it, but people just, wow. Yeah, asymmetric. It's an asymmetric. Asymmetric tropical storm. Doesn't have the features of a tropical storm, but it's still a tropical storm. All links are below.